Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's Andy Show TV mini sode here on YouTube. Uh, for those of you who are patrons to our show at the Andy Show TV, uh, dot com forward slash backslash, mm -hmm. uh, you will get to see our entire full length episode. For those of you who just watched these episodes, thank you so much for watching. We hope that someday you become a patron, but if you don't, we will continue to entertain you here or try our best to do that. First off, we want to do something on this episode of the Andy Show TV that, uh, well, it's it's a little bit of a callback yes. to our series on Patreon. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There is a book in existence uh, called Treat Me Right by D. Light that happens to be one of Joseph's favorite books. Yeah. I think it actually fell from heaven. Yeah. Joseph reads this book from time to time on our full-length show, and we thought we would like to bring an element of this uh, to the Andy Show TV minisodes. So what we're going to do now is Joseph is going to read an excerpt from this book. Now, this book is written mostly about relationships. Yes, oh, very um, much so, uh, from the female point of view. Yeah, it is yep. written from the female point of view, but yep. it's a perspective that I think Joseph has a good and unique uh, like love mm -hmm. for in my position as a vocal coach of yes. sorts. I'm going to help him read it to be a little bit more effective and entertaining for you so that you can really feel the emotion that's in mm -hmm. this. And, and I appreciate your coaching because really all of this is because I'm, I'm working on creating a reel so that I can audition to read books on tape for others. So it's important that I show my range, yeah. which is why I take all of your coaching very seriously. Absolutely. Hashtag audio books. Yes. All right. Yes. Let's do this. Okay. Well, the, the pages are extra bright, as you know, and unfortunately Joe is unable to read from the book without his sunglasses on. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. my glasses. Yeah. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Patrick. It's, you can just call me Pat. <laughs> or Patrick. It's up to you. Be grateful that I'm alive. Okay. Yeah, that, that was yeah. that was all right. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's the least you can do. How can I say this? Um, I would like you to add a little bit of stank to it. No. Oh. A little bit of southern stank on it. Like a uh, country fried stank. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah. Be grateful that I'm alive. Okay. See, I, what I like what you're doing there yeah. is that you, but you're not getting nearly enough like grit. Ooh, I want, want you grits? to. You serving this one up for supper? Grits and stank. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be grateful that I'm alive. Okay. Cool. So, all right. Maybe, maybe I'm giving you the wrong direction. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's raise it up an octave. Okay. Be grateful that I'm alive. Okay. Really close. We're getting really close. That was a little pitchy, dog. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be a no for me, dog. But uh, if you could just raise it up even higher. Yeah, you got real close on that one. Just a little bit higher and with a little bit of, of, of British to it. Uh, I changed the page. I hope that's okay. That's fine, yeah. Okay. Ask me why I think it's truly here. What I have to say. I think the neighbors are going to really like that one. Yeah. Is that, that good? One. Yeah, I think we got it. Did you feel good about that one? I feel great Pat? about that one. That was out of the park. Yeah. yeah? Good job. Guys, this is a segment that uh, it's near and dear to Joe's heart. Oh, yes. Uh, this is called Happy News. Now, we do this on the Patreon hour-long show pretty often. Mm -hmm. We found that the internet is full of just negative stuff. Mostly. Mostly mean stuff. It's a dumping ground. Right. I'm sure that there are many comments on this video about how disappointed you are in us for various things. Yes. Uh, and so what we like to do is to bring about something called Happy News. Yep. Yeah. Just some nice news, stuff that makes you happy. So let's go over something right now. This man's yellow car was vandalized for being ugly. Then, Awful. hundreds of yellow cars showed up. Now, the thing I like most about this story yes. is that this little man had a yellow car. I think that's terrific. And that hundreds of yellow cars showed up out of the sky. Seemingly Fell down. What it shows me is that there, that heaven has a sense of humor. Oh, yes. That this little man is a wizard mm -hmm. and that we should be careful about him because he might be somebody that would kill you with some sort of sorcery. And be careful what you say to yellow cars, yeah. too. Because who exactly. so knows what they're capable it's of. It's nice, but also, let's take away from this, that this guy is a scary wizard and he knows how to kill you with his mind. Now, we've got a great one here. Shaq tipped a waitress $4,000 because that's what she requested. Yep. That's the most expensive, that's what she said, I've ever heard. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh, Shaquille O'Neal is a guy who, um, he was once on Jimmy Fallon. Right. So That's what he's known for. Yeah, that's what he's mostly known for. Um, Shaq seems like a wonderful guy. Uh, he seems like someone who will tip you a lot of money if you just come out and ask for it. So, 
If you happen to see Sha Shaquille O'Neal uh, anywhere that you are, go up and ask him, hey, Shaq, can I have roughly $5,000? And I feel like he will say yes. Yeah. Just be sure to include that you liked his lip sync battle. And that you Cause... like Kazam. Yes. And that you liked when he was, was it Steel? Yes. Yeah, Steel. Steel was real good. Yeah. Blue Chips. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah with Nick Nolte. Yeah. 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 Classic film. The Nick Nolte. Yes. Apologies. Next up, what we have is a story about a four-year-old boy who thinks his mom is dead, and so he uses Siri to save her life. Now, what we have here again, Joe, is probably a story about someone who has magical powers yep. uh, that we should be afraid of. Yes. Um, but, as it turns out, this worked out in a positive way uh, because he used his magical powers of Siri to For save good. his mother's life. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the, the other side of the coin is that we might have a child who someone should probably talk to about in more detail about what it takes to actually save someone's life. Yes. Because I don't know that speaking to your phone will do that much. Very Unless often. Unless the way that you're dying is by being trapped inside the phone and you ask Siri, hey, will you let my mom out of that phone? Yes. Which uh, is the case that happened. Yeah, this yeah. was a, definitely a lawnmower man scenario where the yes. mom was digitized and trapped in the phone. Yeah. Infecting other phones. Yeah. And herself. So... Basically, what I think we can take away from the happy news today is that uh, be afraid of wizards. Mm -hmm. Yellow cars are part of the world. Yep. Walk up to Shaq and ask him for four grand, so long as you compliment his previous works. Absolutely. And teach your kids that if you get stuck in the phone, don't just use Siri. Call an ambulance. Call a doctor. Call the wizard guy from the yellow car. Call Domino's. Call Domino's.